All right, so I picked up uh, two of these totes today. Get them ready for turning into firewood storage. Okay, when you get these totes, this is like 275, 300 gallon tote. Um, on this one, we're just gonna take these star bits out, whatever they're called, torque bits. I think this is a T30 on this one. Okay, we'll go to the other side and do the same. Okay, slide that out. These just slip right out of there. So now we just kind of figure out where we want our cuts and I'm going to cut it down here, leaving this one coming over there and cut all of that out. Give me good access to stack the wood. Just got a cutting disc that works really good and fast. All right, guys, pretty much less than a minute. You can go from um, a full cage to cutting it out. So right now I'm in the process of um, stacking a face cord because allegedly these totes hold about a rick or a face cord of wood. So I need to verify that prior to um, storing it. So right now I'm getting everything um, stacked up here. This is just stuff I split last night. I ran up north a couple hours and got a used splitter from one of my supporters and just tried it out for about like 30, 40 minutes. So this is all from last night. I'm going to stack this four feet high. This is eight feet long and that is the cage. Just cut it out like that and hopefully that will fit a face cord, but I'm not sure if my tractor can lift it. So this is a multi-part test. We gotta make sure it can hold the required amount prior to me selling it and knowing what I have on hand. And also, can my tractor lift it filled with wet wood? If not, I'll have to fill it with whatever it can lift, get it in its drying spot, top it off by hand. All right, it looks like I got a little bit more to go. I'm gonna fire up the splitter here and get some of the rounds behind me and we'll uh, level this out to four feet. Let's see what we got here. Four feet's about right here. So we got a little ways to go, maybe 10 or 15 minutes on the splitter.
see if we got it. Four feet is right here. Probably use a piece or two there. And four feet is right here. Put a couple pieces on. I say we got ourselves a face cord. And a little extra for gaps. We know that we have a face cord here or a rick. Eight feet long, four feet high, 16 inches. Everything's cut proper. So we're going to get this IBC tote that I cut apart. And we're going to see how much I can fit in it. And hopefully a full face cord fits in that. Then we know we never have to do this again. Then the second test is, can my tractor lift it? All right, and just for kicks, I'm gonna test the moisture content. This is just something I got off of Amazon. Uh, it's a contactless moisture meter. So it seems to work pretty good so far. I've tested quite a few things. Uh, there is a hardwood and softwood option among other things. So pretty cool. No pins, we just press the back here against the wood. All right, it is on hardwood. I'm not sure if we can see that with the wide angle. So we'll grab this piece. I can feel it is very wet. There we go, 30, about 32% there. Another piece. That's a 16. Uh, there you go, 25%. Twenty nine percent. So this stuff is pretty wet. Thirty six, thirty seven, forty depends on where we put it. But the good thing is with this being split relatively small, uh, things should dry out pretty quick. That's about perfect. I like that. Also, another reason to cut your wood to 16 inches, because it works out great. If you use a jig, everything's the same. All right, we're going to pick up the spilled pieces and uh, see if the tractor can lift it. For reference, the uh, tractor is a Kubota LX2610. It's got a 25 horsepower motor. I think it's got like a 1200 pound lift capacity and I bought it last week so that's the bad point if it doesn't lift it I just got it but I didn't plan on doing this All right, we're gonna try the tractor again. It's lifted, but barely, and the whole back end's off the ground here. I do have it in four-wheel drive, but that's just too much, and the tires are loaded on this. So we got almost a base cord in there. So not a huge deal. I can take this in uh, the bucket afterwards once I get this into position, and I might have to take a little bit out just so I can travel better. Uh, once I get it in position, I can throw the bucket on and just take this, layer it on top, and uh, that'll be a full face cord. And then when it's dry, I'm pretty sure I should be able to handle it with the tractor. So now we know.
All right, guys, that is one face cord. You saw it from the start, eight feet long, four feet high, verified with a ruler or a tape measure. If you're buying wood in crates and it ain't stacked like that, they either got a bigger crate or hopefully not, but that is a full rick or one third of a full cord, a face cord. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. All right, so I'm starting another tote, but I wanted to add a side note. I will label that other bin just like a number one or an A, something to help me keep track of which um, I did first and on the date and uh, the moisture percentage of the wood when I checked it. So I'll just keep a little log and maybe test it every month and kind of see how it progresses. And that's just data for the future. So, all right, thanks for watching guys. See ya.